more weeks of Advent because Christmas falls on Sunday. So on this fourth Sunday, we have a whole another week ahead of us. A week of preparation. And how will we prepare? Will we be so caught up in the hustle and bustle, the shopping and baking and parties and eating and drinking, which are all fine and good things, but when they overshadow the true reason for the season, when they push Christ off center stage over into some forgotten corner, And we missed the point. We bought in to the message of the world. And we have no right to stand back and moan and complain about what they do. Because we ourselves have set the stage. We have one more week to prepare for the glorious incarnation, the birth of our Lord and Savior. One more week to prepare a place for Him to come, to be born anew, as it were, this Christmas morning. Born into our hearts. Born more fully into our lives. Will we take this opportunity amidst all the other hustle and bustle Will we make an effort to keep Christ in our own Christmas? Not worrying about what everybody else there at the stores and the malls and in the government, etc., etc., is doing. But worrying instead about our own preparation. Will we prepare to not only keep Christ in Christmas? but to keep him front and center where he belongs. And not just for Christmas, but each and every day of our lives that the church say, Amen. Amen. Will we prepare? We are privileged to come to the fruit of the lowly maidens, yes. <clears throat> to share his body, blood, soul, and divinity is our food, our nourishment. May we come to him today asking for the grace to truly prepare, to make ready his way, to prepare a dwelling place for him more fully in our lives. Let us come to him today asking have the faith of Mary to welcome him without fear, with open arms, and to keep him, the Lord Jesus Christ, in Christmas. <clears throat>